Hello, welcome everybody to today's episode of Easy SAP ABAP. So I've had some requests to do some videos programming in Eclipse using the um, ABAP Development Tools Toolkit for SAP. Um, usually, I'll be honest, unless I'm like doing a CDS view or something in the actual HANA uh, suite of tools, I don't really use. I, I, I'm old school for whatever reason, though I've only been in a. <laughs> Only been in the SAP business for a couple of years, but I'm old school. I like the actual SAP uh, GUI, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it today. How to get ABAP in Eclipse, also known as ADT, ABAP Development Tools, in Eclipse setup. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser. I use the Brave browser, but you guys can use anything, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the Eclipse website. So from Eclipse we need to go ahead and let's see here click the download button download the latest version at this point it's 2022-06 so it'll probably have changed by the time you watch this video and we're gonna go ahead and save it to our desktop it's gonna wait just a few seconds and it's gonna go ahead and download that and then I'm gonna go ahead and say ABAP development tools download so click the first link that comes up it's gonna be SAP um, it's gonna tell us this has changed a little bit go ahead and click on this latest one it's gonna give us this software repository URL so we're gonna go ahead and copy this note it down because once we actually can install Eclipse my download speed is terrible. <laughs> Must be throttled, I guess, from the Eclipse Foundation's website. But anyway, um, I'm going to wait for that to finish. And then we're going to use this tools.hana.ondemand.com slash 2022-06. And like I say, it will have changed more than likely by the time you watch this video. So definitely just go back and Google ABAP Development Tools Download and then we'll pick up from there. I'm going to go ahead and just pause this video while this uh, slow download proceeds, and then we'll pick back up whenever we're done here. All right, guys and gals. So my Eclipse is finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and open the executable. In this instance, it's going to it's downloaded an executable for the Eclipse installer. Uh, there are prepackaged ones I've seen. I've, I've downloaded before in the past where it's a zip file. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, this is different than the last time I've downloaded Eclipse. We're working through this together, guys. I'm going to go ahead and download Eclipse IDE for Java developers. I'll go ahead and create a start menu entry and a desktop shortcut. Go ahead and install. This is going to run just a second. So, well, running quicker than I thought. I might not have to pause the video on us. Give her just half a second. We see, oh, I do want to note this. So it's come bundled with a JVM. If you know what that means, then uh, that's good for us. We don't have to worry about a separate Java virtual machine or a uh, JDK. But basically, this install is going to have everything we need to start working with Eclipse. So, well, it's taking longer than usual. I guess I will go ahead and pause the video, guys, and then I'll. Uh, come back once it's finished so now we're at this screen install completed successfully go ahead and close out of the installer go ahead and delete our installer because we're done with that and then we have this nice Eclipse IDE for Java developers shortcut on our desktop go ahead and double click to open it up and it's gonna take just a second to open it up uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose a workspace. I'll just choose a custom workspace here. I'll just do a folder on my desktop called SAP-Workspace. And select that as my workspace. I'm going to select use this as the default and do not ask again. This is basically just where all of your files are going to get stored during the development process. You need a folder for it. So I've created SAP-Workspace on the desktop. Uh, the Eclipse IDE is now going to go ahead and start up and at this point Eclipse is ready if we were a Java developer we could go ahead and create a new Java project and start developing Java but we are SAP developers so we need to download the 
Hana or the app uh, can't speak English today the about development toolkit so how do we do that we come to help install new software work with I could do add and I'll just say SAP and the location is our tools.eu.hana.ondemand go ahead and add this it's gonna fetch the software from that we see about development tools we see the different sub tools as a part of it I'm gonna go ahead and say download all of them click next it's gonna calculate the dependencies install the different tools click next again we're gonna to have to accept these end user license agreements that we all read every single time thoroughly it's going to install the actual about development tools software so we see it's about halfway done now and in order to log on to our about development tools through eclipse we're going to need to use the same logon that we do when logging on from the sap gui so just go ahead and proof of point sap gui developer and my password that's from earlier don't worry about that I see I'm logged on to SAP I'll go ahead and get out of this SAP GUI and the logon pad I'm going to wait for this install here to finish for the Eclipse about development tools and then I'll show you guys how to log on through Eclipse so now our software download for the about development tools has finished it's going to ask us to restart Eclipse to apply the update we'll say restart now so Eclipse IDE will be restarted and we're gonna have it launch up and then we'll be able to start using ADT so I'm just gonna give it a second here to let it finish launching and then I'll show you guys how to log on to an ABAP system how to uh, do basic navigation but I'll leave the rest up to your own you know discovery so we'll go ahead and open up Eclipse we see here we have this ABAP development getting started all of these things what I'm gonna do is go to file new other I'm gonna open up this ABAP folder and then I'll say ABAP project click next it's gonna already find my ABAP uh, well, my SAP connection that's already locally saved to my PC I'll go ahead and click next give it our connection details system ID all of that stuff click next give it our client which I think is 001 our user developer and our password which I've messed up typing I've messed up again so now click next it's gonna connect ask us do we want to open the ABAP perspective I'll click remember my decision and open perspective so from this point we have successfully click job uh, down here to the bottom left and I'll go ahead oops again guys I'm not stupidly familiar with this we can see we're connected to our NPL system as developer we can click system library it's gonna load repository trees we can assign favorite packages a favorite package dollar sign TMP as developer I can click on that I actually click on this uh, maximize right here well I thought I was gonna show me all my reports again I'm not very <laughs> first in this this is why I use the GUI it just seems easy for me so um, source code library I can look under here I can do programs if you've watched any of my uh, previous videos you can see I, I did a program on field symbols I can double click that and uh, what it's gonna do is gonna open up this program in Eclipse so what's gonna happen is we're now able to write our ABAP programs in Eclipse and we are able to leverage the functionality that CDS views and the different S4 HANA you know, related things are going to give us so I can come in here and start writing ABAP and then when I'm done I can check it 
and it can activate it. I can go ahead and run it, run it as a um, ABOP application, run it in ABOP test cockpit, I can do unit test. So that's how to get started and set up. From there, I'll let you guys do a little more digging on your own, but that is the basic setup for how to get started using ABOP development tools in Eclipse for SAP. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment, shoot me a email. My email is usually readily available on my YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.